Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Live Learning. In this episode, I want to try this uh, new notes inside Geometry Notes inside Blender 4.1 Alpha. Uh, it's called uh, uh, the Bake Note, and I will introduce this uh, this note uh, using a simple example of instancing um, a bunch of random pebbles. Uh, as you can see, there's actually three different kind of pebbles, and I can specifically select the pebbles that I like and then I just simply instance it. I will probably start from scratch. So let's save this as pebbles. So it's gonna be the basic pebbles. So we have default cube at the center and I'll use geometry nodes. Um, so the bake node looks like this. So you can probably can already already guess what it does. The first one, bake animations, but as a geometry, it's a little bit like um, alembic. So I think it'll, it will bake uh, the transformations and the, the mesh changing shape of geometry if it's animated, while the other one is still. So let's, let's take a look how it works actually. So we have default cube. In this case, I will perhaps Randomize if if you if you do this, you know what's what's gonna happen. It will randomize the position, or in this case, it's changing the original position of the default cube. But we want to use offset instead, so we are offsetting the position of original default cube. So we have these random shapes, and we can also add subdivision surface just to smooth the stone if we want to have more randomizations we can we can further set positions and randomize further but in this case this is fine so we can have different pebble shapes right if we plug in uh, set our uh, time same time frame into the seed we're gonna get different pebbles on different frames. So that's fine. Uh, what if we want to scatter the pebbles? Uh, we can use repeat frame or we can use like a simulation zo zone just to scatter the pebbles in time. That will work. But in this case, okay, Blender is actually, it's still alpha, so. Maybe I should close this as well. And let's reopen Blender 4.1. In this case, I will use the bake node just to select the pebbles that I like. You can actually uh, file, export, and save this as Alembic on every frame. That will bake that as well. But in this case, we don't need to do that. Just simply use bake. Let's try if we bake animations and let's make this 50 frames, if we just do that, bake, we have bake one until frame 50. If we, if we disconnect this, we actually have the geometry already baked. So we are baking it and it's actually changing value on every frame. In this case, let's try just using still Um, before I go and bake this, I want to show you if, if we actually turn this, turn this geometry into instance, what's going to happen is that it's going to maintain the original objects. It's kind of like a behave in the, in a more like a transform ways because it's an instance we can we can uh, we can realize the geometry at the end of this uh, nodes and then use set position again and it's gonna go back under it's gonna set position of the objects again but uh, anyway just to let you know that if it's become instance we are operating on the transformations level so 
let's say we are we want to pick our uh, pebbles we want to pick the one we like okay maybe we like this one we can actually bake it on that frame so on that frame we have a bake pebbles we can do the same thing so I just duplicated the nodes it's back to the animation we want to have still we want to we want to pick another pebble let's say we like these shapes we bake again so this one bake at frame 5 this one is bake at frame 10 this is kind of a way you can pick an instance procedural geometry instance that we like based on the seed and then we can bake we can bake it so now we have okay this one is wrong it needs to be still so we have three pebbles with different shapes and yeah we can actually disconnect we can disconnect the rest of this so it's kind of interesting that way um, Maybe we can actually use repeat zone to bake on a certain frame as well. But now we have three different instances that we can we can use. So three different objects now behaving like instance. We can say instance on points. So it's a grid. And we can pick instance. So increase the grid. So it's gonna repeat the instance objects. We can smooth this if you want to. And yeah, at this point, okay, if we are happy with this arrangement, that's fine. If you want to randomize further. index we use the index plug into here this guy and this. we have three objects pick index between 0 and 2 plug this into in instant index now we have more random arrangement of number you can also use distribute points of on the face of the grid That's probably kind of yeah we, we we can just use this so three different instances of the pebbles that we bake this way so just three um, selected pebbles we can always add more if we want to just select random pebbles whatever frame so it's baked at frame 49 just plug this in now we have new instance so this can be randomized we can add more index we can randomize the position so it's yeah I guess this is quite interesting uh, it's useful I mean the back um, next on the next video I will try to use the animations um, at this point we can set rotation instance instance rotations oh okay instances and translate instances and then scale instances so these three always so for each one of these we can randomize the height for example or rotation okay random value vector into the rotations random okay this one can use noise texture plug into the translations use vector math normalize this using 0 0.5 we can use vector math 
and scale vector actually multiply if you want just ups and down just increase this value this one set to zero so we can animate the w should go should go ups and down I guess because okay the interesting thing is that because we rotate it first the vector is move okay this should go then this should go behind it so we should rotate after we make it ups and down so we can rotate it that way the instance scale can be between two values then we can type we can plug in second into the frame it should be zero it's just moving ups and down so at the end of this we can use set position uh, in this case if we realize instances we're gonna bake everything and we can we can use random value just to randomize this further if you want to and we smooth vector blur attributes blur the vector using the set position it's making it more spiky Yeah, but I think the, the the one the main concepts that we learned today, the new one is actually this node called bake. Um, in this case, it's actually baking the geometry and baking. Uh, the second one is animation, so I'm kind of interested in that as well. If we bake the the mess animations, uh, we could perhaps uh, use it for other type of simulation so it's the the geometry nodes processing could be heavy but if you bake it into animated geometry then we can use that geometry and then we can add simulation on top of that and it's gonna be a lot faster so yeah i think yeah i think we cover quite a lot of uh, randomized uh, random random and seed selection so we are selecting seed using bake and then we use that as an instance and then we just instance it on the points of the grid so it's a uh, quite quite basic uh, but you get something that's pretty complex Yeah, so hopefully you find this interesting. Uh, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you.